I gave all the kids some drink, or a laundry drink, I'm sorry. Got the 81. I turned it off by accident, so I had to restart it. We're going to run water in the uh, uh, steam pipe right here. Get it to back up, and then we'll start sneaking. Get all the way open. Make sure that's what it says it's coming out. So it took a little while guys, so it's probably where it wise into the uh, main run. Got a floor drain here and then literally within 8 to 10 feet we got the main stack here. So I'm thinking it's probably where it wise into the, uh, the main run before it goes out of the building. Um, well, under the floor where it ties into the main sewer lateral. So we're going to get start snaking that. We get the trap. Handling it. Oh wow. So it took a little while to back up. We had it on, hose on full, but then it choked up. Yeah, the two inch stand pipes are notorious for backing up. Over the years, they get a lot of build up in them because they're a small line already. And then you add some lint and barnacles on the inside of the pipe then you got a problem so if you guys ever replace that i would put a minimum minimum of three inch in and then you should be fine for a long time three inch all the way over to the uh, main run the main run seems to be four inch we got four inch over here Looks like they got it roughed in for a secondary bathroom. And that nice of them. Yeah, this floor drain choked up. Go ahead and turn that off. The floor drain's overflowing. Turn the water off. Floor drain's coming up. Now it's starting to go down now. You leave it cracked open. So there's a restriction. It's not fully blocked. But where the, this, uh, you got a floor drain and a standpipe here. Um, I'm not sure if the um, sewer is going out the back or the front. Or even the side because we got a clean out pointing. Could be going out the side of the building. And then just 
keep working this a little bit until we get, get it to take a full amount of water and it's not coming up anymore and floor drain. Usually not a good sign when it comes up a floor drain. But I don't see any toilet paper or anything like that. Yeah, if you see toilet paper, that's your main run that's backed up. It looks pretty clean down there. A little bit of dog hair. Getting anything? You made it through the trap, right? Yeah. So we got through a spot and it seemed like everything was okay, but then when we cranked crank the water on, it's coming back up out of the floor drain, guys. But there's no toilet paper, so it really shouldn't be the main, but it could be the main. And I don't know if they have an outside clean out here or not. One way to find out is get this to choke up and get it to stand still. And then you go turn all the water off, go up, flush the toilet. If you see it come up more, then it's the main run. But with it going up and down, it's a little tricky to diagnose that. Um, another way, if there's a clean out outside, you can go out there and have somebody flush the toilet. If you don't hear it rumble and it takes the water a while to get there, then it's uh, back, backed up out the sewer lateral. Well, we ran in a few more feet guys and uh, it's not coming up here anymore and it seems to be taking a full hose work out of here so we may have got it um, we'll probably just run in a few more feet and then slowly work it out back it up out of there see if there's anything on the cable uh, we'll probably run it in again just to make sure Okay guys, we got the hose all the way on, not coming up here, we're slowly pulling the cable out. So, yeah, don't pull it too fast. Yeah, if you guys pull this too fast out, it could uh, twist up in your drum, so take it easy when you're pulling this back out. And it'll get easier as you go. You know, everybody's thinking, oh, this is an exciting video you got, Steve. How to sneak the laundry drain. Not coming up. You got full hose on. Yeah, one thing I could point out to you guys is this is a vinyl hose here. If you have a uh, um, natural gas, I would recommend you put vinyl right off of there. Ideally, there would be a, a galvanized uh, sheet metal 90 and then come up about 5 feet and then get rid of this vinyl one and put in uh, one like this. It's aluminum. 
but the, the hazard is vinyl. You know, if you get a bunch of lint built up in this, which is going to happen eventually, um, a spark goes in and catches on fire. So, anyway, pro tip for you. Well, you can get away with a 90, but yeah, easier turn, like a, I don't even think they make a long sweep 90 in a, in a, that, Yeah, a little bit of lint and some hair and stuff. So we're gonna run it in again. We got the hose on full blast. Yeah, if you're sneaking one of these, you want to make sure you have a hose or something running in the drain. Because as that cable's going through there, it's mechanically spinning and kind of scraping that junk off the pipe. So you want to flush it while you're doing that. Just turns out we got two separate hose bibs here so we can easily connect on to the cold with our short hose all right guys we're in it in again we're pulling it back out we got a full hose of water on that coming out down here so I appreciate you guys watching today, and uh, if you like and subscribe, I appreciate that, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.